What's up? Tinka230 here. I hope everyone's having a great day. So welcome to Dave's X Mankind Divided Breach. Now this is a separate mode from the single player campaign. And I think I'm going to actually just be doing this mode. I haven't, I actually wasn't really planning on doing the campaign, but if you all would actually like me to, I definitely would and be open to doing it. So anyway, since I haven't done this before, and also that I am playing this on the Xbox, and I played Human Revolution on the PC, playing this on the controller was a little weird when I started playing a little bit of the single player campaign, so hopefully I'll be alright with the controls and just get used to it. So anyway, let's enter the breach. Shadow Child's talking to me. Okay, hello Tenku230, glad to see you logged on. The more rippers we have attacking the breach, the better. Oh, cool, I didn't realize there were dialogue options in here. The breach? I I don't know. What, your message seems urgent. What's hashtag the breach is now all about? I must know. Why can't I get a cool, like, avatar picture like that? Access to the most secure corporate servers in the world, the countless terabytes of data they hold are finally within our reach. But there's no way of knowing how long the breach will stay open, so every ripper needs to take action now. Tell me why you became a ripper, and I can help you get even better at it. Uh, what? I don't know. You're already a hacker. Why'd you become a ripper? <laughs> Change. To expose truth. I don't know. Do I really want a challenge? I'm not, I don't think I'm in it for the money. Let's just go for challenge. Neural Subnet offers a challenge that's unlike anything else out there. I can respect that. Virtual reality certainly changes the playing field for people like us, but being a ripper can also be about making a difference. For years, the corporations that control the world feared their secrets would one day be exposed. But since the Palisade Bank built their massive server farms, any incriminating evidence against them has been protected until now. To be honest, your reason for being a ripper is not as important as what can be done with the data you extract. I want to work with you to ensure that you get as much of it as possible while you can trust how do i know you won't just take the data i extract and screw me over i don't know is there like a there, there has to be a hacker code right i've done my fair share of rating servers on my own just fine extracting data from the blaze will be no different i i, I gotta ask the question trust why would i do that to you it's in my best interest to provide, you with, to provide you with the means to stand up to the Palisades advanced defenses. By compensating you for every terabyte you bring in, you can improve your skills. We can go on about this for hours, time that's better spent raiding the Blade servers. I'll post something on my message board that should answer all your questions. Information on the breach, file transfer complete. So Tango230, will you work with me? For now, let's see how it goes. Eager, sure, when do we get started? I feel like as, a, as an actual person, I feel like I would be a little reluctant. I do want to see how this goes first. I promise you, you won't regret it, okay. I'll guide you through the Blade's uh, lava wall servers myself. It's a defensive barrier that stands between you and the Palisade's client servers. All right, then it'll be up to you. Extract the data, expose the truth. End of conversation. Okay, message board. Ripper, let's get started. Check my message board for a link to the Palisade's lava wall servers. I didn't know you had an accent. Oh, this is actually kind of cool. It's like, I, I feel like I'm actually kind of like hacking with a cool HUD. Photo of the Palisade Blades. So the Palisade Blade facilities, Palisade Blades reshaped the skyline of Prague and solidified the city's place in the world. Each blade houses a sophisticated operating system and an array of server chambers that secures the client data within. Cool. Okay. Enter the Lava Wall servers. This is the tutorial. Tutorial mission. Thank God. Shadow Child posted a hyperlink that will get me into the Palisade's Lava Wall servers. The wall that stands between me and the data contained within their network or client servers. So let's start the level. Let's sync. Extract. To extract data, you need to find data towers. Access the one ahead of you to begin. Oh my God. This is a trip. Yeah. Look, my, my hands are just, they're just all black. So extract data. Data download initiated. I'm getting a score. So I'm definitely like in a VR mode. It reminded me a lot of Metal Gear. And if you guys played volume, it reminds me of that, but in first person. So, okay, so I'm going through here. This is a wall. Uh, oh, okay. I can crouch through glass triangles. Aim at server block. Use it on them to clear a path. Oh, can I remote hack from here? No. Not through glass, I don't think. 
Uh, server. Okay, slide. Wait, press X when the slider is over the signal. Okay. Still gotta get used to what the hell is going on, man. Alright, so this is another uh, data block. Or data tower. Some towers hold more data than others. You must reach the data objective for the breach point to reopen. Okay. There's a ladder here. Cool. This is what I look like. Oh my god. Okay, I don't have a back of a head. At all. You almost have enough data, Reaper. One or two more towers should do it. One or two more towers. Okay, well, one's over here. Or I think. It is, but I can't move this thing. So let's go to this one. Probably gonna have to get access to that one for later. That's it. You have enough data. The breach point is open. But the AI core has activated its lockdown sequence. Hurry. If you don't get to the exit in time, any data your avatar carries will be lost. What? What do I do? Okay. Uh, it's, uh... Where's my time? Okay, I, I need, Oh my god. Icarus strike. What the hell are you talking about? So we're good. That was the tutorial mission. Data extraction successful. Well done, Reaper. As promised, the data you extracted has been converted into credits and experience. Thanks. Okay, data extract. Okay, I'm still trying to get used to like all these numbers and what they do. Extracted data actions multipliers. Okay, so let's continue. I'm not even close to level two at all. This is Palisade's lava wall. The barrier protecting the corporate data we're after. I've hacked the booster pack into the next node. Open it now. Okay, uh, server network. Unlocking nodes. Complete a server map to unlock any nodes connected to it. Some nodes may require using a firewall key. Hold RT and use L to quickly move around the map, okay? Reach the exit points to transport a new server map. Okay, uh, da. Here? Okay, what am I doing? Entering? 10 terabytes of data, it looks like. Breach point. What is happening? I don't understand what's going on. Is, isn't this the same level that I went into? Okay, I need to go to the next one. I'll be back. Alright, so the second time I did it, I was faster, and I did it better. So it is based on time. And it seems like I can keep doing it again to get experience. Alright, so, uh... Wait, oh, oh, we're going here. <laughs> Alright. The entrance is on the left. I was confused. I was like, setup pack, unlocks access to basic weaponry. Oh, cool. Now I can get stuff to shoot with. Press A to open the booster pack. Booster pack. Select a card using L and press A to reveal the item. I'm a lefty, so let's select left. Basic pistol. Cool. Uh, wait, I, I can't. I, yeah, just reveal all items. What do I gotta do like one at a time? Rarity system. Okay, C B A S. Svaz. Booster packs contain a variety of items that can help you survive. Access the next server and you'll see how to equip them. Okay, I shall do that. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, this is it. Let's do this one and then we'll end it after this. So. Equip your avatar with a weapon and ammo before entering the server. Switch to the loadout tab to transfer items from your reserve. Okay, so we're, we're going here. Okay, so I got everything. Good to go. I don't have to use real money for this, do I? Alright, so let's go to this breach point and sink. Heads up. This server is guarded by AI defenses. Expect a fight if you're spotted. Okay. Uh, what do I... I'm toggling. Oh, the breach is all the way to the right, huh? Um, oh, oh, the whole thing. The whole thing goes down. It's dominoes, man. It's dominoes, dude. Oh look, there's a vent over here. I'm extracting data. Downloads complete. I'm gonna go over here because vents are always good in, in Deus Ex, man. So, who's over here? I can't tell if any enemies, okay, so. I'm assuming I can just move this, okay. I will drop, I'm gonna crouch through. It's a good thing I have. Careful, there's a guard here. Downloading data attracts attention. Stick to cover or open fire, but if you're detected, reinforcements will spawn. So don't get detected. Oh my god. Look at this guy. Okay, I... I okay, so... Center I have... I have my energy ready to go. I hope he... Nope, he didn't stay there. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go here. And then I'm gonna Transmitting. press... Take him down. 
my god, I just... Are a fast way to defeat enemies and keep things quiet. Okay. Just keep an eye on the energy usage. Okay. Totally. Gotta do that in the main game anyway. I don't know what this is, but it doesn't look like I can open it. Oh, I can. Server block. Okay, toggle. So what if I fuck up on that? What if I totally mess up? Some data towers can be tricky to access, but sometimes the way to them is easier than it seems. What? What do you mean? What do you... Okay. There's nothing up here. I, I just closed my... Oh! What? That was weird. That was... I didn't expect that to happen. That that was weird. Okay. So, when I do this again, I know that's happening. And I will be able to do it much faster. Hopefully, whenever I get to the next part, like whenever I'm breaching something next, hopefully I don't have like a little sliver that I have to like put the, uh, the cursor on, because that would suck so hard. Okay, let's open this. And I don't see any more enemies. Server toggle. Okay. Uh, see, I fucked up. <laughs> I would eventually f up. Okay. You can use remote hacking to your advantage. Server blocks can help you access out of reach areas. Say what? Oh, I can climb this. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was weird, man. I didn't think I could do that. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. Download initiated. I don't see any bad guy. Oh, what? Okay. What do I do then? Back to the exit? I have to go back. Oh, he locked me out. But here. Oh yeah, that's right. Wait, I have to go all the way back and then come all the way the other way again? There's a guy here. Uh, okay. Oh boy. He's totally there. Okay. Time. Where is he? I need, I need him to, to move to the left. Okay, there we go. We're good. Just stay there, please. Stay there. Aha. You know, I guess when you think about it, I could have just, like, jumped here. Ripper level up. Your skills are improving. Thanks. As you gain experience, firmware updates will increase your avatar's memory and supply praxis points. Okay, so I just got one, and I got plus 50 gigabytes of system memory in my pool. Sweet. That'll be it for Breach. As you can tell, each level is easily, like, digestible. Like, you can finish it in, like, probably less than 10 minutes, I guess, depending on, on each level. And as you go, you're trying to do it in the best time possible to get the best score. So, I like this mode. It's pretty cool. And I definitely like the crystallization, um, minimalist type of aesthetic for the art direction. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of volume that, uh, in the game, I forgot who, <laughs> I forgot the name of the dude who created it, but he did Thomas Was Alone, which was also like another minimalistic, uh, at least graphically speaking game. So if you all made it this far, thanks for watching. And as always, take care and Tengu230 out. All right, y'all. Game on, everybody, and keep smiling.